News new at 5.30, new life for Long Island? Maybe not. Well, Boston's mayor wants to spend millions of dollars to rebuild the bridge to the island that once housed nearly a dozen different homeless shelters and drug treatment programs. But as WBZ's Gary Broad shows us, Quincy's mayor is dead set against it. A bridge dividing instead of connecting, creating a rift between two cities and their mayors. I'm not going to make a public fight over this. I think that, you know, Mayor Welsh knows that the mayor of Quincy is, is you know, um, not supportive. Boston Mayor Marty Walsh and Quincy Mayor Tom Koch at odds over the reconstruction of the Long Island Bridge. Walsh made a top priority at the beginning of the year to begin construction and then place a rehabilitation facility on the island. It's a little absurd to consider that we have a perfectly good piece of land where we could do some incredible recovery services on and create halfway house beds for people of the entire Commonwealth to be able to use it. But Mayor Koch and people living in the Squantum neighborhood don't want the added traffic. People say it's nice that they can go there, but other people don't live here. And have other ideas. I, I prefer them to have boats going back and forth. There's so much traffic of people going out there. Koch agrees. He says he'd prefer to have a ferry shuttle people can take to and from the island. The Quincy mayor is also concerned about future development. So we'll be engaging outside consultants and attorneys uh, to give us the best advice going forward. Koch says he's also looking into using ordinances to block the Quincy Road going to Moon Island, much like Boston does. I'm going to do everything in my power to block the construction of the Long Island Bridge. Mayor Walsh says he plans to move forward with plans for the bridge. He expects it to take about three years, two for permitting, one for construction. The city has pledged more than $90 million to building this bridge. In Quincy, Gary Bro, WBZ News.